<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the number five ranked pound for pound fighter in the world and the current reigning undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis Ngannou's uh, heavyweight title could be under threat, to be honest. It really could be under threat as a result of a new emerging um, heavyweight contender, six foot three monster from Russia, Sergei Pavlovich. And um, it's probably hard to believe, to be honest, because when we think of Francis Ngannou, all of us see him as a knockout artist, which he is. I mean, most of the fights that he had in the UFC, that absolutely demolished his opponents. We're talking about the likes of Alistair Overeem, Stipe Miocic, former heavyweight champion. We're talking about the likes of Cain Velasquez, Junior Dos Santos. He totally annihilated these fighters. But we've got an emergence of a new contender, obviously of a contender from Russia, Sergei Pavlovich, the Russian international, just in July, by the way, faced Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis, out of all people, who literally had the most knockouts in UFC history. He had more knockouts than any fighter in UFC history. But, but on that night, it was Derek Lewis that had his light shut off by the Russian Sergei Pavlovich. Think about that. Derek Lewis, the most powerful or one of the most powerful heavyweights that ever stepped foot in the octagon, got demolished within 55 seconds by Pavlovich. And not only that, but on the 3rd of December, he also faced another knockout artist. Another knockout artist in Thai, Bam Bam Tuivasa, a guy who also knocked out Derek Lewis, by the way. Again, the Russian international um, shot his lights out in 54 seconds, <clears throat> literally in 54 seconds, one second less than he did against Derek Lewis. So yes, we've got a serious, a serious contender on our hands, to be honest, absolutely. And um, one of the advantages for him is the fact that he was actually ranked seven in the heavyweight rankings, but after his knockout against Taito Ivasa, he moved up all the way to fourth. And we all know that the person who's second, which is Cyril Gann, and the person ranked third, they both lost to Fran uh, Francis Ngannou. So we're not expecting any title contention from them, them yet. So the only potential fight is a fight between Francis Ngannou and a fight uh, versus Sergei uh, Pavlovich, to be honest. It's the fight that makes sense. It really does. I mean, another fight probably that makes sense in the heavyweight division is maybe Gann, Cyril Gann versus... Uh, Pavlovich, that's a fight that I would definitely love to see, to be honest, but it's probably safer for him to jump in and just get a title shot against Francis Gano. But what I'm going to say is, though, it's, it's, it, it makes perfect logical sense that Francis Ngano will obviously be the favourite going into the fight. But what I'm trying to effectively say is that we shouldn't look down on Pavlovich, to be honest. We just shouldn't look down on him, dude. The guy hits hard. The guy hits like a truck. We saw what happened to Taito Ivasa. We saw what happened to Derek Lewis. You know, though there's a high probability that he might obviously face Sorogan, it, it, it's a title contention is also a possibility to you. That's all I'm just saying. A title contention against Francis Ngannou is a possibility. And um, again, the odds are going to be against him, but is that, he's a Russian. He's a Russian. And we all know the Russians, they bring the smoke, right? But this, is, this will be an incredible fight if it was to ever materialise. Either way, Sergei Pavlovich versus Francis Ngannou for the heavyweight uh, title, championship of the world or Pavlovich versus Cyril Gann um, and winner fights Francis Ngannou. Either way, I'm absolutely content, to be honest, absolutely. So, but preferably I would rather see him fight Francis Ngannou, to be honest, for the title. But God, that's going to be a fight. Like literally, we're talking about two of the greatest knockout artists to ever probably to ever step foot in the octagon. Bear in mind, Sergei Pavlovich, his like probably his last seven fights all came either by KO or TKO. Like literally, KO or TKO. As I've mentioned earlier, he completely annihilated Taito Ivasa in 54 seconds and absolutely buried Derek Lewis in 55 seconds. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, is there any person in the heavyweight division today, apart from Francis Ngannou, who really could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pavlovich? I don't see it. Maybe possibly Gan, but Cyril Gan doesn't want to take a punch from Pavlovich. 
He just doesn't. He's, he literally would shut his lights out instantaneously. So I think Gunn should obviously just, you know, take a seat. Um, Miocic, on the other hand, if he doesn't want his lights to be shut off again like he did against Ngannou, he definitely, you know, should take a seat and just watch Francis Ngannou go toe-to-toe -to -toe, um, with Sergei Pavlovich. But definitely, ladies and gentlemen, there is a new contender in the UFC heavyweight division and his name is Sergei Pavlovich. Watch out for him, honestly. Watch out for him. MMA fans, we might have the expectation that this might be an easy night, a quick night for Francis Ngannou because we've seen fighters come and go absolutely destroyed by Ngannou. And, you know, we might believe that that might also be a potential that could happen to Pavlovich. But I'm saying that this is going to be an exciting fight. It's it's not it's not going to be as... Uh, the, the disparity between the two fighters is not going to be as far apart as a lot of you might think. Again, it naturally makes makes sense that Ngarni obviously will be the favourite going into this fight. But again, Pavlovich is an absolute monster. So ladies and gentlemen, I just want to see your perspective to be honest. Make sure to comment down below and you know like just leave your perspective on a potential fight that could happen. The heavyweight division between Pavlovich and Francis Ngarni, I would love to hear it honestly. I appreciate that. Smash the like button down below, comment and subscribe. Peace.